The plug is all pasty now. Perfect. Fifteen men on a dead man's... Huh. Who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I want my girlfriend. Well, we'll just see how your threats sit with my captain. Your captain? Yes, Threepwood. You've come aboard the Sea Cucumber. I am Mr. Fawcy, and the first mate. And my captain? Why, he's the scourge of the seven seas. The Dread Pirate, Let's ship. Yes, Captain, it's on the table, sir. Watch out! That's right, Captain Lech. Yes, Captain, just an intruder, sir. But I'm dealing with him. He says you're to be tortured. Choose your punishment. You can either be tarred and feathered, or you can walk the plank. Feathered sounds good. How about just feathered? No. So, well, I suppose we'll have to go with walking the plank. We're trying to avoid using the tar and feathers. It's messy, and we need to save the tar for emergency leak repair. What do you say, men? Can we make him walk the plank? What's that, Captain? Handles. Well, it looks like we're having technical difficulties, Threepwood. So we'll have to drag out the tar and feathers after all. That'll learn you. So what do I do now? Hmm. I don't know. We've never done this before. Aren't you humiliated? I guess so, but no more than usual. Well, you just get lost then. El Pollo Diablo! At last, one of my demonic brethren come to set me free! Oh, brother. Come, release me, so that I might run free alongside you as we terrorize the mortals of this island! I'm out of here. Wait! Don't leave! <laughs> I can't drink from that mug because there's a big hole in the bottom. I'm sorry. I can't take you seriously while you're dressed like that. <laughs> It's El Pollo Diablo!
Kill him! Uh-oh. Good morning. At the tone, Caribbean standard time will be 9, 50, 9, and 6 seconds. Beep. El Pollo Diablo. The demon chicken. We don't serve your kind here. Mean it. Get me the scissors. Eviscerate him. He'll regret ever setting claws in this place. I want the neck. Well, you're not taking me without a fight. Ugh, this chicken grease washed off all the feathers. Whoops, I better keep quiet. Absolutely, Captain. I'll get right on it after I have my dinner. What's that, Captain? I eat too much fried chicken. Well, I... I've just got a weakness for chicken, that's all. I know you don't have any weaknesses, Captain Lichimp. You're an overachiever, a <laughs> doer. I'm just a tiny little fly. Lichimp? The captain is an ape? Well, if the captain is an ape, then Mr. Fossey must be... Aye, aye, Captain! Fresh bananas for the whole crew! An utter loon. What's that, Captain? <laughs> Your parasites are bothering you. Well, of course I'll groom you, sir. You know, sir, finding this gold statue may be just the boost our crew needs. What, with the riches we get from this, we can get new and better ships and become the terror of the Caribbean. The A, M, C's of ventriloquism. <clears throat> Mr. Fossey, I've been thinking. Are you all right, Captain? <laughs> you sound different. Don't interrupt. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Maybe it's time we gave up pirating. I mean, take a look around at me, at the rest of the crew. We're all monkeys. You mean in the Darwinian sense, sir? No, I mean in the quite literal sense. Uh, have you noticed that the crew is happier swinging from the masts than swabbing the decks? I don't even want to mention what they've been flinging around the ship. Are you suggesting that I'm not disciplining the crew enough? No, I'm suggesting that we all give up this charade and go back to the trees. That's the life for a monkey, not sailing the seas for months on end. Well, if you feel so strongly about it, sir, I suppose I can't argue. I think our last order of business should be to dig up that statue and... It'll be tough on the men, sir, but I'll tell them that you think it best. Okay, but first we should dig up that statue and give it to... I'll make sure they understand that it's not their fault. Very good. And then we can dig up that statue and... Okay, never mind then. That must be the map to where they buried Elaine. Now the corn is all buttery and greasy. I never liked cranberries, and I don't plan to start now. I can't imagine any need for a loaf of plunder bread. I don't want another biscuit. If I pick it up, it'll melt in my pants. I'm not in the mood for bananas. 
I'm not that interested in mashed potatoes right now. I avoid salt whenever possible and only use fresh ground pepper. I don't want anything that smelly. I think I'll leave that here. Ah, I hate porcelain. It's a long story. I'll explain later. I don't go in for all that highbrow, artsy theater stuff. Besides, if I want to enter the theater, I can always use the stage door. I'm not in the mood for fruit. It's a bowl of bananas. Mm, no. It's a tire swing. I think Mr. Fossey is the only guy who can talk to him. I don't think so. Smells like something's burning. Must be this shoddy 17th century electrical wiring. Wait a second. Somebody's been monkeying around with these controls. Must be where Elaine is buried. And now, the moment I know you've all been waiting for. How about some amazing juggling? Uh-oh. It looks like he's coming for the cannonballs now. And now, the ultimate Shakespearean delight. The famous cannonball juggling scene from Romeo and Juliet. Whoa! Oops! <laughs> I'm glad it had a happy ending and he got the, um... Got the girl in the end?
Elaine should be safe up in the crow's nest. For now. A barrel of grog. And a chicken. <laughs> Look at all this stuff, mate. Oh, that must have been some battle. Let's pull up anchor and make for Skull Island. King Andre will pay through the nose for all this loot. Wait a minute. There's something else. It's, uh... It's some kind of footwear. Hey! Those are nice. Ooh. But they're still hot. Ow, 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 ow! Look, a three-headed monkey. Oh boy, oh boy. Gee willikers, is this gonna be swell. Hey! Just because you're a grown-up doesn't mean you can waste my time. I want my money back. Why? Was the lemonade bad? I don't know. I didn't drink any. Well. If you're not dissatisfied with our product, I can't justify giving you a refund. I'm sorry, but it's company policy. But... Thank you, have a nice day, goodbye. Give me some more lemonade, you little chiseler. That'll be a nickel. was as refreshing as morning dew. Hey! How did you drink all the lemonade? You switched mugs on me, you cheap. I hope you're happy. You put a budding young entrepreneur out of business. Ugh, thank goodness it's not a porcelain pitcher. It's full of dye now. It's a torn up contract with something scrawled on it. It says, To my agent, Palido Domingo. Palido, this is the worst booking you've given me since that firewalking fiasco on Blood Island. I quit. Sincerely, Slappy Cromwell.
Are you sure you don't know how to get to Blood Island? I told you before, babe. I've never heard of Blood Island. Is that a fact? Well, I have a document here that says you booked Slappy Cromwell's act at a resort on Blood Island. Cromwell? <laughs> I should have known. If I booked that guy in a dinghy, there'd be empty seats. So you do know how to get to Blood Island? Yeah, yeah. They had a really nice room there, too. The Good Soup Plantation Resort Hotel and Casino. It was the place to go before they moved the shipping lanes. I used to book so many gigs there, I had the map tattooed on my back. On your back? All those little yellow sticky notes just kept getting lost. Oh. Why did you lie and say you didn't know how to get to Blood Island? I, I, I just don't want to say. What? It's your face, babe. There, I said it, babe. I hope you can forgive me. I just gotta be honest. I just didn't think you were the right type for Blood Island. That's not some place I picture your career going right now. Let me get you a booking somewhere that's in your league. I can gig you at this little shoe factory in Hoboken. It's Blood Island or nothing. If that's the way it's gotta be, babe. Then that's the way it's gotta be. But you're gonna have to find new representation, okay? Can I see your map to Blood Island? You can see it when I roll over to tan my back. When will that be? Could be a long time, babe. A very, very long time. Please let me see the map to Blood Island. You can see it when I roll over to tan my back. But, babe, that may be a very long while. See you around. <laughs>